It's time, time, time for Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Helping to get your day started right. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Wednesday, May 25th, 2016. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day and commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise because he is worthy of all of our praise. He is worthy of all of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Jude. And it's verse number 3. Scripture says, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Friends, I want to spend a couple of days here, probably the remainder of this week, looking here at this letter that Jude had wrote um, to to the, the, the Christian people. And remember, Jude was somebody that was a half-brother to Jesus. And, and he was writing here to teach us that we need to earnestly contend for the faith. That means we must go and we must fight for the faith that we believe in, fight for the things that we believe in, the things that we hold dear, the doctrines of of our, our faith. And he's going to tell us, and tomorrow we're going to start looking at the reasons why we need to contend for the faith. But for today, I want us to focus in on are we earnestly contending for the faith? What does it mean for us to contend for the faith? That means we need to fight for the truth. That's in God's word. You know, I saw a, a thing on, on Facebook, a little picture on Facebook, and I don't remember exactly the way it was worded, but it had said something to the effect of the Bible was written to change us, not change the Bible to fit our sin. And I think that's what he's going to be talking about here as we go down reading through some more of the book of, of Jude here. And we must contend for the things that are the truth. Friends, if the Bible calls something a sin, then guess what? It's a sin. We don't need to change it around. We don't need to make it fit our lifestyles for today. Now, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. But we need to go out and we need to stand up for the truth of the Word of God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the truth. Apart from Jesus, there is no truth. If you take Jesus out of the equation, if you take his shed blood on the cross out of the equation, then we no longer have a gospel. And that's the thing that we need to fight for, the thing that we need to make sure we're constantly proclaiming. And friends, the only way that we're going to know what the gospel is and what the gospel says and the truths of the doctrines of the word of God is if we get in there and we study it and we allow it to transform us. Paul says in Romans 12, 2, that we need to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. And we need to allow God when we offer ourselves as a a living sacrifice for him, he'll change our minds. He'll transform our minds to think into the way he wants us to think so we can become the people he wants us to become. But for today, my friends, are you standing up for the faith? Or when you're talking with somebody and they're sharing something with you or telling you something that you know without a shadow of a doubt is 100% falsehood of life in the very pits of hell, are you going to stand there and listen to it and agree with it? Or are you going to show them the truth of the word of God? Friends, if we're not going to stand up for our faith, if we're not going to contend for our faith and fight for our faith, then pretty soon we're not even going to know what the truth is anymore. And I think for the most part, we're almost to that spot now. Are you contending for the faith today? Are you standing up for the truth of the word of God? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.